Hi, uh, I'm Alan Getgood. I'm a consultant, uh, knee surgeon and chief of surgery here at Aspatar. I'm going to briefly talk about anterolateral stabilization or the use of lateral extraarticular tenodesis in the treatment of ACL injuries. One of the areas of ACL reconstruction that's really improved over the last number of years has been the utilization of lateral extraarticular procedures or anterolateral stabilizations. And this is an area that I've been involved in very heavily in terms of research that we've been doing over the past 10 years with the, the stability trials. Um, what happened maybe is just, just 10 to 12 years ago is that there was some early research that suggested that an injury to the anterolateral ligament or the anterolateral capsule, which is just on the outside of the knee, was associated with ACL injury and treatment of that injury could reduce our ACL re-injury rates. Because what we were seeing is that in athletes who have an ACL injury and have ACL surgery, whilst the outcomes are pretty good, unfortunately we had an unacceptably high level of failures around the world. Maybe 10% of patients would have another ACL injury and that's a real devastating problem to have, particularly when you're, when you're an athlete. What we started in, in 2014 was a randomized clinical trial which is called the stability trial, where we compared patients having ACL reconstruction with or without an extra stabilization procedure, what we call a lateral extraarticular tenodesis. And we performed that on half of the patients so that they were randomly allocated. And what it showed is that it reduced the failure rates of ACL reconstruction by approximately 50%. And this has been a massive advance in what we do across the world. There are many, many more surgeons now utilizing a lateral tenodesis that will ultimately reduce failure rates and improve the outcomes for our athletes. In the Middle East, we've uh, particularly focused in this area because many of our athletes have specific characteristics that put them at higher risk of re-injury. And so lateral tenodesis or anterolateral ligament reconstruction, both of which are thought of as lateral extraarticular procedures, have been widely utilized here at Aspatar. And we hope that, in, that over time we will be able to, we'll be able to see particularly with many of our metrics that we, or outcome measures that we get from our assessment lab in, in our rehabilitation area, that we can see that our, our, our results, our failure rates, and ultimately our outcomes are optimized.